place over the weekend. She and her friend uh, Joan organized a family freedom festival or event. Basically an event to protest the lockdowns, the mask mandates, and to basically celebrate our freedoms and to denounce or decry the loss of our constitutional freedoms and civil liberties. Samantha, are you there? I can hear you, Jeff. Oh, great. Me? Okay, you're coming in loud and clear. So, great. Samantha, you set up this wonderful family freedom festival. There were children, there were games, of course, there were adults. And this was done in Bridgewater over the weekend. And then, Samantha, yeah. please tell the audience what you said happened at fall after the festival began. Yeah, so it was it was pretty shocking. Um, we we had about an hour of um, speakers and music playing, children playing in the field with bubbles and play doh, um, and then some local moms from the Bridgewater area. Uh, they reached out to the local Boston BLM and Antifa groups, and they brought them into Little Old Bridgewater to harass and terrorize families all day. Uh, they took the children's Play-Doh. They made body parts out of the Play-Doh. Pretty graphic, disgusting things for the kids to play with. A couple of months ago, there was a bill in the state legislature, the so-called police reform bill, that did nothing to reform police. It just made us all unsafe. That bill was a bad bill, and that bill has to be defeated. No, okay. We have people. We have people in the state legislature who have taken an oath of office to protect us, but they're doing just the opposite. They're turning against the cops, which in turn, they turn against us. Those politicians have to be thrown out of office. It took a lot of activity in the past couple of years to see that the left is not protecting us at all. They are against us and they are all with us for things that may have happened in this country 150, 200 years ago. That's crazy, and we're going to put an end to it. So you might as well get all the insults you can. I'm gonna be here all day, baby. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Right, that's cool. Officer, you should watch this man right here. He's threatening me. Officer, officer, he's threatening me. Let me witness it. These and Tifa and BLM here terrorizing us, but we're not terrorized. We're not terrorized. Hey, talk to this old man. 19 years in the communist prison. We know communists. Authoritarian, not communist. Totalitarian is communist. The same thing. This is a man.
America, you're in the wrong country. I came from Vietnam. I know communists. You guys go there and live there. Go to China. Pet Joe Biden with you. So we had Sasha here with us today at the event. As she's making friends with everybody and all of the kids, but when commanded, Black Lives Matter and Antifa know she's here, and we simply let her off her leash. Um, they screamed in mothers' faces, mothers carrying babies. They actually started a, uh, an altercation with a police officer, um, and there were a couple arrests made. Stop! Stop! Just stop! It, it was a pretty disturbing day, to say the least. Uh, we were shocked to see that they actually would terrorize a family festival with children present. And um, like I said, it was a, it was a pretty peaceful day uh, before they arrived. And we did, we did have a lot of fun. Um, we had some incredible speakers, and, um, but they, they were doing their best to disrupt. And um, anyone who wants to see that can see that at We The People on, on Facebook. Um, the We The People page has some of the clips posted, but it was, it was just a pretty awful, awful experience. Oh my God! So they actually I mean, these are mothers or pro Black Lives Matter or pro Antifa moms who showed up and they what they ripped a play doh out of the hands of the kids. They did, yes. And these these people that organized Antifa to come in have been standing in the center of Bridgewater all year long um, at the center at the Rotary. Um, and they have been largely unopposed. Um, they've had Black Lives Matter standouts all summer long, all weekend, uh, every weekend, all summer long, and no one has counter protested them. But the one conservative festival that has happened was our festival on Saturday, and they immediately came down. Um, and we knew they were in FIFA because they were sticking stickers saying New England um, or Northeast Division of Antifa to all of our posters and flyers. Um, so they were they were advertising who they were, um, which is which is funny because they're only an idea, but they have a Northeast chapter. So that is incredible, Samantha Ballpark. How many of these Antifa Black Lives Matter uh, moms or thugs showed up at the at the uh, Family Freedom Festival? I, I would say there was a couple of the moms who stand out there regularly, and the Antifa from Boston, there probably was about two dozen. Um, but we did have a huge police presence of about 140 officers who came out. We intercepted the communication previous to the event, so we actually moved the event away from where they were planning on staging um, just to get away from them and avoid the conflict. But they, they walked half a mile to our event to start problems, and they stayed all day. Um, but like I said, there were 140 approximately amazing officers from Bridgewater and the surrounding area who came out uh, to protect our safety and protect our First Amendment rights and make sure that we had the ability to, um, you know, really stand for what we believed in. And we were able to complete the day relatively unscathed. As I teach my own children, if we need to put any color in front of someone's lives that matter, you are the racist, period. So, uh, w were they assaulting some? I mean, uh, were they assaulting the police officers? Um, how, how do they treat the police? I'm just curious. It, they were yelling in their faces. Come on, pigs. That's what he's yelling at them. With his communist China flag. Went up to my friend's three-week-old baby, and she said there are babies here, and he said, fuck your babies. No disrespect. No disrespect. That the cops are surrounding us to protect us. There was one woman wearing a pig mask, um, calling them, you know, killers and holding signs that said to jail the police. Um, and they, they were yelling in their faces. One man had a megaphone yelling in their faces um, and just belittling them. And then at the end of the day, um, an undercover police officer who had identified himself ended up being punched in the face by one of them. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Samantha, I've got to ask you this. You know, you have every right to protest these lockdowns, which you're right. They're unconstitutional. They're anti-freedom. They're illegal. These mask mandates to demand the rest the restoration of our constitutional rights and civil liberties. Why did Black Lives Matter and Antifa show up at all? How is it their business if you want to have a family friendly, you know, freedom festival, have a few speakers, have some food, let the kids play some games? What's it to them? Yeah, I think that's maybe the most concerning part is that it seems that the word freedom was a trigger for them. Um, freedom, they took to mean, uh, basically, they, they want everyone masked. They want everyone complying. Um, and I, I, I very much believe that it doesn't have much to do with the virus anymore as much as it has to do with compliance and that they are... Um, you know, just in opposition to any conservative views. They don't want us to have our liberties back. They don't want us to have freedom of speech. And they really want to try to um, silence any conservative viewpoints. And if they have to intimidate and bully conservatives into silence. I, it was very clear that they were um, looking for certain trigger words during the speaker's speeches that they were trying to drown out with megaphones and things like that when they started to talk about um you know words like vaccine they would start to play very loud music over them um and anytime they would speak about your civil liberties we had some constitutional attorneys there and they really tried to drown out the messaging that was getting through um it almost seemed like in-person fact checking like they were trying to drown out any information being able to get out to the crowd unbelievable unbelievable samantha please um I think what was done to that festival, to this uh, Family Freedom Festival, to me is a violation of your First Amendment rights. It was clearly harassment. It was persecution. It was intimidation. You don't show anymore. Come on. Right, so, when this kid shuts up, I'm going to sing a song that affects everybody. And yeah. to me, these Black Lives Matter and Antifa th uh, thugs, they are domestic terrorists and hate groups. They are. So please do me a favor, Samantha. Uh, can you let everybody know where they can see more of these video clips? So the next time yes. they say Antifa or Black Lives Matter is, an, or if Antifa is an idea, we can actually show them a real people committing disgusting, heinous acts. Right, right, and I think that was what was so concerning is that it wasn't a it wasn't a protest with adults holding signs. This was a family festival with children playing. But if they want to see videos. Um, they can go to We the People on Facebook. It's a Facebook page, We the People. We the People on Facebook. Samantha, yeah. you are a very brave, courageous, patriotic woman. I know your partner, you. Joan, is as well. Please keep up the good fight and don't be a stranger. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day. God bless you, Samantha. Take care. 617-266-6868 is the number. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. They even go after the children. That's how tolerant they are. But according to Biden, they're just an idea. Flanking us right now. Yeah, they're breaking up into smaller groups. They're gonna try something soon. These two are the problem, though. It better be in line with the Constitution. Cause there are Obama, babies you here. Babies. Yeah, fuck you, babies. Yeah, that's not nice, man. You're very tolerant. Very tolerant, buddy. Yeah, freaking tough guy. What's that? Nobody's never mentioned that to me. Don't worry, we got it. Don't worry about it, guys. You're good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Hey, high five. High five. Yeah. What color your skin is? Oh, God. This is already been. Hey, Superfly America. No, no, no. You don't, you don't tell me what to do. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this, one thing that Can we you have guys just is stay away from the kids? Quiet, 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 quiet. We got yeah, the kids over there. Just follow them. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
I'm saying they don't need to hear this. Can you guys move that way? He's doing what he wants. Wait, can you ask him for the robot? Go away. What's going on? Hey, 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 hey,
to so scare you and, you know, harass and persecute your children, frighten your children, uh, you know, threaten you, threaten your kids, threaten your family, that you'll say, you know what, let's not hold a rally. Let's not challenge the lockdowns. Let's not challenge the mask mandates. They're the modern day brown shirts and they must be stopped. 848 on the great WRKO, Jeff Kooner, Boston's bulldozer. Maureen in Duxbury. Thanks for holding Maureen and welcome. But what you said just prior to the break and the last caller, shoot, Samantha, was phenomenal. Because the takeaway from that gathering, that freedom gathering in Bridgewater, was about peace and love and people getting along. And it just demonstrates exactly what the Black Lives Matter and the Antifa people are the complete opposite, right? So good and evil, right there. And what you had said prior to Samantha's call was... You know, I think that our country has turned away from God and love of neighbor. And that if anything was true about Donald Trump and the last administration, it was about truth and people coming together. And we saw it time and again, peaceful demonstrations, rallies. And I think that I was waiting for you to say it, that maybe this was all because we have drifted so far away from God in this country that we had to be brought to our knees to see what was truly important. And I believe that your message was heard and I've been waiting for weeks for you to say it. And so thank you for finally reiterating that. Oh, my pleasure, Marina. And thank you very much for that call. Uh, look, I've said this many times. This is the wisdom of our founding fathers. This is George Washington, this is Thomas Jefferson, this is John Adams, uh, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, Madison. No God, no America. America was founded upon religious liberty and religious freedom. And it's right there in the Declaration of Independence. Our rights come from God Almighty Himself. So this is why even during the Constitutional Convention, as they debated the Constitution, uh, many of them there, George Washington, all, they were they would kneel and pray and ask God for guidance. Not you know once in a blue moon, two or three times a day. So my point is, I'm just telling you the truth. If you believe in individual liberty as we do, then you have to understand that our fundamental rights are God given. They don't come from the government or the state or Joe Biden or the Democratic Party, they come from God himself. And what is a moral obligation comes from God. It doesn't come from Joe Biden or the Democrats. This is Marxism. What you're seeing now is cultural Marxism. To love a foreigner, a stranger, over your own flesh and blood, over your own family, over your own people, over your own nation. This is, this is Marx. This is, I'm giving you, Mar this is Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin. So, no, we have every obligation to turn them back and to take care and defend and protect our people, our citizens, especially when we have so many homeless veterans, so many people unemployed, so many children in our own country who are going hungry. So we're turning our back on our own people and acting like somehow we're the wealthiest country in the world and we can afford to just, you know, uh, uh, act like the Salvation Army or the Red Cross when we're sitting at a $30 trillion national debt? Where China now is owning much of our debt and our treasury bills? And in the midst of a pandemic, allowing, deliberately allowing covid infected illegal aliens to flood our country and and kill our citizens and get our citizens sick it's perverse it's completely perverse it's 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 twisted so this idea oh we've got to take them in this is not who we are no i'm sorry this is who we are you invite the world you will bankrupt america pure and simple that's why no one has ever done 
what the globalists are now attempting to do, which is to flood this country with millions and millions and millions of illegals. And in the midst of a global pandemic, it's madness. It's madness. On liberty, I'm here to stand the line to preserve your right to the pursuit of happiness, your right to a joyful and fulfilling life. I'm here to bridge this divide, this polarization between right and left, between Democrat and Republican. This Orwellian struggle we all find ourselves in is much better than you or I. This is our time, the time to stand up, to declare yourself a sovereign and free being, to liberate yourselves from the bonds of political party, to realize now there are only fellow Americans. To our law enforcement officers here today, I urge you all to support and respect your oath to the people and the Constitution of these United States. We stand. We stand together. And divided, we will fall. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. The guy with the megaphone, this song is for you. Okay, we're going to do a song for the, for, the, for the wonderful, peaceful man that has so much love in his heart. He's such a wonderful human, really sweetheart of a guy. This is for you, buddy. Where did he go? Did he leave? Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, oh, okay. All right, there he is. This is for you. All you guys who are like negative and you're mean and you're rotten, you're, you're mean, you're just mean. This is for you guys. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Wow. Oh, Pfizer, oh, Pfizer, don't you treat me so mean. These injections are the murderous thing. Yes, yes, you say so. Hey! Half a pack of things, Jack, go. That's right. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. But don't you come back no more. Oh, I'm a doing another journey. Don't you treat us this way? Cause you're gonna to the sense this way Yes, if you say so You have to pack your bags and go That's right, hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more What you say? Hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack Don't you come
overdrive And don't you come back no more Oh woman, oh woman, gonna treat me so mean Meanest woman that I ever did see Yes, if you say so Just ain't no good. Guess if you say so, well, you have to pack your things and go. So hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you said, no more. Turn in his head, no more. Get out of here, no more. You better, you better not let that door hit you. Sorry for him. But anyway, we're going to go back to the music, huh? Because music is a universal language, and it's and it's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys in blue. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence, and um, I just appreciate that you're here. Hey, why don't you get out of the poor guy's face, huh? Why don't you go and... Why don't you look in the mirror? Oh. Oh. Antagonizing fool. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, here we go. Uh, so he just antagonized a law student, so that was stupid. Yeah. Well, that's because he's not educated. He doesn't have it. Oh, now here we go with the race card. <laughs> oh God. Oh, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm black. I'm a black American. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. And I'm also a Republican. How do you like that? God bless America. Here we go. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that song. Um, I guess
guys give me one reason? Here we go. And they, they all do the words. Give me one reason to wear this And I'll put it right on my back Give me one reason to wear this And I'll put it right on my back These Macs, they don't stop anything Show me the chance that I find Cloud pods, twenty microns. Hundred droplets, you just fire. You can check online. We check it anytime. You gotta check it. Through the night. 